I'm just Kaiser and I'm sitting here with Todd Beavis, famed chassis builder, and uh, we are here to talk about a really cool product here from Modern Racing that we designed, engineered, and manufacturing in-house, correct? correct? That is correct. And these are new control arms for the Pinsky long travel shock, so they, for the struts. So they're unique to those, uh, why? Well, in the past, all most all brand name struts have been a three inch travel strut. So now Penske has developed a long travel, which is about an inch more travel, uh, that allows the tire to stay in contact with the track longer and ease the front end setting down more gently. Um, so what we ran into was a problem with a standard monoball, which only has eight degrees of articulation in it, that binds up upon the housing. So in an effort to eliminate the binding of the monoball on the housing, we went to what is called a high misalignment monoball. And that allows for 20 degrees of articulation for the extra inch of travel. Right on. So uh, if you were to put the Penske long travel strut on a standard eight degree, you'd be running into issues where it'd want to bind the control arm, the strut would want to bind the, the whole geometry of the suspension. Correct, the geometry is all incorrect. So we will be offering a couple different options on these control arms, correct? Correct. And uh, this one's the titanium one I'm holding, which is always such a trip because this is so lightweight. Super light. Your, your hand kind of jumps up when you pick it up. So uh, these are, for the pair, they're a pound lighter than our chromoly options. That's correct. And we'll be offering them in a chassis kit, which is a chassis builder's kit, like what I'm holding here. So these arms are just a little bit longer than what you might usually have and so you can cut these down to length and they'll include the rod ends as well as the end here which for, is titanium. for the customer to weld on yeah correct. so so you can create your own through our diy kit or for an extra hundred dollars we will assemble it for you we will actually weld the tubing adapters to your length uh, so that all that's required when you receive them is just to simply bolt them on and do a front end alignment on your car right on. and so let me uh, back you up how did you guys discover the problem here's a damaged um, monoball. Monoball. Yeah. So on the strut here, we found that after disassembling a long straddle strut off of a car, that the monoball itself, with the travel, the longer travel, now would bind this housing part against the body of the strut. So. This, this bearing, only allowing eight degrees of travel, wasn't enough articulation for the travel versus the new monoball we've engineered for, which has 20 degrees of articulation and can't bind. So it gives you the extra length of travel. We've actually installed this on an X275 car that we're building that has six inches of travel and we still have enough articulation in the monoball for it not to bind. Okay, so this is one of our mock-up struts that has no valving in it, so I can easily show you the, the articulation of the monoball down here on the bottom. So this is our long travel strut, and you can see the amount of change that the control arm goes through during each motion up and down. This monoball won't allow for that much motion. So the, tra the travel was starting to bind right here on the body of the strut housing. And so now that's no longer possible. That's no longer possible. We have an extra 12 degrees movement in this where eight was about the limit. If, if you have the strut mounted in a neutral location for the monoball, there is enough travel, but it's still extremely close. So in most circumstances we've found, with the height of the strut cup and with the adjuster, you have the potential for it binding. There's, there's an inch and a half of adjustment in your late model state-of-the-art Pro Mod where you can adjust the amount of travel the strut would be used. And even with that, this has a potential to bind. The kits include all the rod ends, jam nuts, uh, our specialty nut for the bottom of the strut, uh, the snap ring which retains the monoball. All right, so this is a great solution to, um, to that problem you can see here where it's beating up 
even inside the race right here. Yeah. And uh, ours with a higher shoulder on the top, it's an overall bigger construction in itself as well, right? It's a bigger bodied monoball, but you have to have that in order for the extra, the additional movement. And then we have to machine a, a new nut to hold it on there, uh, which will come in the kit for, just to be able to bolt it on. Yeah. yeah. Great. Awesome. Well, you guys can check this out on modernracing.net. Again, uh, we're offering the kits in titanium and chromoly, and for an extra $100, we can assemble them here in-house. However, we will require you to send in your old control arm so that we can match them perfectly. Um, well, thank you so much, Don. You're welcome. Come back and see us again. I've enjoyed this.